Okay. As you approach where you expect the town to be, you see that there are row after row of chopped down trees. And as you get closer to the town, it's clear where all the wood has gone. It seems that there is a hastily constructed wooden wall surrounding the city. Um, I am Morgan. I am a half-elf druid. And I'm awesome! I like animals, and I can turn into a lion. What's going on here? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's the right. You see, he looks up and just... He goes, oh! Oh, I'm surprised you weren't set upon by those filthy creatures! Come in, come in, sisters! Glad to see you! I'm Cordelia, and I am a half-elf sword mage who is pretty clumsy with her sword. And one almost <laughs> dropped it in a pit of acid. We've had to build up this wall because we keep getting raided. Do you have any remedies? Have you figured out any remedies to the poison yet? Yeah, giant wood wall. <laughs> <laughs> You guys should come in, I'll raise the gate for you. Okay. Thank and he you. starts winching up the gate. I am Joanna, I am a female... <laughs> I'm a female. Uh, human assassin executioner. I'm kind of silent, I stand back and observe people, and I apparently have a thing for dark, mysterious guys that try to kill us. We're, we're, we're hitting the bar pretty hard. Bar, keep back here. Hey, speaking of dumb wives, nope. anyone nope. interested? <laughs> Don't, don't leave. <laughs> That's compelling argument. <laughs> no, I got more coming. Just sit down. Listen, our friend Morgan will kiss you on the cheek if you let us know where hey! he is. Which one's Morgan? Yeah, all right. The third house on the left has got the red awning. Run! Run! Hey, you owe me a kiss. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have trouble from him later. I'm Beatrix. Uh, I have a hard time making friends because my peers are intimidated by me because I've always sort of been top of my class and really studious and stuff. Uh, but since I don't have a lot of friends, I spend all my time getting really awesome at spells. So, so you head over to Vint's house. Go into Vint's house. Okay. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. And then out comes a man who looks like this. Hey! Are you Vince? Vince? Yeah, I'm Vint. Oh, Why do you have great. a giant spider? That's terrifying. Let's not start with that. Yeah. <laughs> you, you sent Mother Superior a note. Do you need trouble? Assistance? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, I, I, yeah, right, no, I, yeah, come on in! Wait, Wait no, before I we go inside. Roll perception for any type of danger. 18 plus 3, 21. Um, he seems confused. I'm Randir, and I am a dragonborn sorcerer who is 6'8 and 320 pounds, and this is what I look like. I'm full of charisma. Oh, and we have the thing of mead. A yeah. big, big thing it's of right mead. right here. Okay. Right there. Of mead. This is the mead. We had to bring this big cart because of the mead. Dragon everything. <laughs> so good. Okay, so loud explosion in the kitchen. We wait a moment for the like, oh, what was that? I don't know, what was that? Maybe we should go check it out. And then you guys run down. Run down to the kitchen. And now he is waiting to see if they, they are woken up or if they leave. Sure enough, you hear the door here open. And out she comes. Yeah, what happened? Yeah. We just we were just up in the room, and and me and Randir woke up, and we heard this explosion. So we decided to come down and see if there's anything we can do. Oh, I wonder if it's a raid. Oh no, I really hope not. Should so we go? Should, should we go outside? And should we all from maybe outside? go outside and see if there's a raid? Because we can protect. <laughs> we can protect. Yes, <laughs> maybe you should. I'm just gonna go get some beauty sleep. Thank oh, you. Oh, oh, but we. We don't know where the door is. Can you show us the door? I have a terrible inside down inside sense of direction. Why do we send a Sure. Why don't you just show us to the door? We, we just actually, you know what? We just want to check on our horses. Could you take us? Could you take us to the horses? It's dark outside. We're a little frightened. To the bar. Could, do you think oh. we could get a glass of water? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> is not going to do wonders indoors. No. Just, just, we can't tell you. We can't tell you. Then just think about it. All right. You run back inside. Run back what? inside. Just freaking do it. Okay. You do are so. you running back into the room where we so are? So confused. We never fully figured out this room. The room was when you came into it. Why would you say that to me? Well, then what do we do now? Because she
she's gonna know that we did something because Liz is a psycho. <laughs> I know. Now she the best thing that. that we can do is to stay there and act totally normal. Yeah. yeah. Is and it honestly, honestly, we, don't, her cloak. we don't know oh. if she's good or bad. Yeah, that's, yeah. True. that's true. She's a bitch, yes, yeah, but, but we, we don't know if she's good from or bad. And we know that we were sent. Yes. Put that in your cloak. We were sent to help in some way. And now we have to be as normal as possible. Liz, we don't know what happened. So Liz is going to sleep. more fun than I expected. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a little bit more I just pictured people sitting around a table being like, I'm doing this thing. I'm actually I'm you come more, up with that. I thought it'd be more awkward. Well no, but this is a little more structured than I was yeah. I'm actually so picking it up quicker than I thought it was. Yeah, that's I don't feel like as much of an idiot as I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. I'm always good. constantly scared of dying. <laughs> you guys have been driving. So. <laughs> Going to Ben's house.